Hi folks, this is Ira um, with video number two in a series of metrology accessories and this this metrology accessory that I'm going to be talking about today is my all-time favorite. It's a very inexpensive, fantastic tool that will really help you measure in a myriad of ways. But before I tell you what it is, I'm going to ask you a question. And the question is, what is the most common job done in the shop, in metalworking, in fabrication, in gunsmithing that has a absolute severe consequence if it's done wrong? And the answer is making a hole and measuring the hole and making certain that it's in the right place. So I'd like to talk about how that is done traditionally. If you have a set of prints and you use a Cartesian coordinate system, which is the distance from the X and the Y, you have a print and it tells you where to make the hole. That's one way. You can also use a polar coordinate system, which is the distance and angle. That's another way. Typically, though, there are callouts made from one hole to another. So we actually have to know the distance from one hole to another. And that is what has given birth to the center line gauge. So what we're going to be talking about today is the center line gauge, which is an attachment that will go on your caliper. You can use them on calipers that are 4 inches, 6 inches, 8 inches, 12 inches, and 24 inches. Today I'm going to show you two different versions, both made out of 416 stainless that are hardened and will absolutely be a delight for you to use. What we're looking at today are two center line gauges on three different calipers. The first center line gauge is on a four inch dial caliper. And the advantage of using this on this four inch dial caliper is very small. You can get into a lot of different areas that you can't get in with a larger tool. The next one is the larger size center line gauges that are on a six inch caliper that's digital and the smaller center line gauges that are on another digital tool that I am going to turn on. And the smaller gauge you can use to measure holes up to 375 thousandths. So on the table today I have a number of artifacts that we're going to measure but before we do that, we're going to use good metrology practice and I'm going to take a caliper, which would be the same as any of the other calipers, and I'm going to go through a very quick process to check whether or not the tool is in spec. I'm using a one inch gauge block, and as you can see clearly, this one inch gauge block in the caliper indicates exactly one inch right down to within a few tenths. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to use a hundred thousand gauge block at the low end and double check that and let's do that which it measures exactly one hundred thousand so I have a very high confidence level that the tools that we're using are good because at the end of the day if the accessory is sitting on a tool that is not accurate then there's no purpose in the exercise. So I'm going to move over here to my left and show you this gauge which has is a wire gauge and it has a number of holes in it. We're going to measure that. This is a right angle gauge that uh, is used in construction to hold 2x4s and 2x6s and such. There is another drill gauge next to it. 
Under here we have a Picatinny rail which is used to hold a scope on a rifle. And to the right we have a gauge that is used which really is a hinge and is used in a marine environment. So we're going to start with this gauge and I have three holes in this gauge. Hole number one, hole number two, and hole number three. The first hole and second hole and third hole, they certainly all look alike. So what I'm going to do is take a scale, which is a scale that is produced from a, 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 a glass master, which is a photo in, in, engraved and photo etched. And I'm going to look from center to center on hole number one and hole number two. Sure looks like it's two inches to me. Next, I'm going to go from hole number two to hole number three. And once again, sure looks like it's two inches to me. So at the end of the day, if I was to make an assumption that this was correct, I would just be doing that exact thing, making an assumption. I'm going to take my tool now on the four inch. And I'm going to measure from hole number one to hole number two. And because these are relatively self-centering, they tend to seat. And the measurement that I'm looking at is two inches and thirteen thousandths. Two inches and thirteen thousandths from center of hole number one to center of hole number two. Now I'm going to measure hole number two to hole number three and take a look at the difference there. And surprise, look what I see. I see one inch, 997 thousandths. A differential of almost 15 thousandths. Now, if that was important and the holes or a tapped hole or some receptacle for whatever you were going to put in that hole was already made, it simply wouldn't fit. So what a wonderful tool that we've just been able to use to determine the center of those holes and we found the 15th out difference. Now, could you do it with a caliper? Sure you could do it with a caliper, but what you would have to do is measure the hole, then you would have to measure from the outside of the hole, you would have to determine the size of the hole by subtracting the radius on each hole and guesstimating what the hole is. So indeed, you cannot use the inside jaws quickly and properly. You can do it, but it's going to take you five to seven minutes to do what we just did in four seconds using a center line gauge. So at the end of the day, we have measured this and we see that these indeed are not the same measurement. I'm going to just ask my cameraman, Jerry, to pan over and look at this. This is a precise back that is a magnetic back that's used to hold a part. And the relationship between this hole and this hole is critical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure those holes. Once again, self-centering. And remember, these are hardened 416 stainless. They're held on by screws in the back that are non-marring and have cups in them. So what we're doing right now is measuring the size of that, the distance between the center to the center, and we see one inch, 686 thousandths of an inch from center to center. Now, if you were to look at this part over here, we're looking at a base, a Picatinny rail base for a rifle that sells for in excess of $1,000. 
if we're going to tap the holes for this particular base, they have to be spot on and within at least two thou. Now you don't want to make that mistake. Using the center line gauges, we can certainly ascertain the distance between the holes. By the way, if you look at these two, you'll see that they are radically different. From center to center on this particular one, we're looking at 611 thou. And from center to center on this one, we're looking at 873 thou. So if you were going to drill and use one hole as a datum uh, or a location point, you certainly don't want to make a thousand dollar mistake by tapping and drill, drilling and tapping a hole on a, uh, on, a, on a rifle. So you can see these center line gauge accessories really, really, really are a wonderful addition to a dial or digital caliper. Certain calipers you have the ability to preset. So you could actually preset and preset the half inch. So you're measuring your datum would be zero, measuring directly to the center. With the dial caliper, we can certainly do it just by attaching them. You could also take this a digital caliper or this digital caliper, bring it out to a half inch, lock it, and then put on the um, measuring tool accessory, the center line gauge, and do it that way. So these are products that are made in the USA. They are very inexpensive, uh, comparatively speaking. They are once again hardened 416 stainless. Incidentally, if you wanted to use this to scribe a hole or to scribe a distance, you could do that based on the fact that these are hardened 416 stainless, as I indicated before. The last part that we're going to measure is just simply a part that is used in the field of construction. And if you were manufacturing this part, and, you, and there was a call out on the distance between the two, you could see that I'm reading 299 thou, and I have to add in 500 thousandths of an inch or half of an inch. So we have approximately um, 300 thousandths and a half inch, so 800 thou. Once again, in general terms, I would say that these tools, these accessories, are accurate to within uh, two thou, possibly three thou. It depends on your technique. And remember, a dial caliper or a digital caliper, based on the resolution, in this case, ha uh, five tenths, half a thou, in this case, one thou, is accurate to plus or minus a thou. So, in theory, it could be as far off as two and a half to three thou. But once your technique is developed, you'll find that you can really get some very, very accurate measurements. So this is Ira signing off for now. And this, once again, is video number two in a series of metrology accessories manufactured by AMPG. A wonderful company made in the U.S. with some wonderful innovative products that I believe will be very, very helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you again on the next one.